name is David Phillips. I'm in my fourth year now of the PhD program in Global Health Metrics. Global Health Metrics is effectively the science of uh, measuring health problems um, and measuring risks associated with those problems and then um, reporting back on uh, that uh, knowledge uh, for um, policy, health policy in the future. We can measure like levels of prevalence for different uh, diseases or uh, rates of deaths in different populations. Or it can be measuring the performance of health systems. And health metrics is sort of behind the scenes creating the, the information uh, that is necessary to uh, guide action in the future. Implementation science is a diverse set of research methodologies from epidemiology, from uh, biostatistics, from industrial sciences, um, qualitative research, all of which come together to say, you know, how do we take this very clean um, program that we've designed and applied in a controlled setting and apply it to a real life context of governments and stakeholders and funders. When we evaluate programs, we look at uh, outcomes at maybe at clinical level outcomes, things like efficiency. Without this confidence, without knowing how to do this part of the programs, we can't uh, do the program. So that's what stakeholders need. My dissertation is specifically focusing on the subnational burden of disease in Indonesia. It hasn't been well quantified what the different problems are in different provinces in a very systematic and comparable way. And so that's my goal is to do that for uh, mortality, so for causes of death. You know, how do people die in different parts of the country? How is that different for different age groups, male, female? How many stroke deaths are because of smoking, for example? My, my project and the work I do is mainly on the use of data that comes from hospitals from uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. So it's data that is very, very special because it, it comes in different forms. Uh, it has a lot of weaknesses in the terms that uh, oftentimes people will say, oh, it's data that we can't trust because it's very patchy. It's not very good data. There is a lot of overcomes of mistakes uh, in a lot of, for different indicators. And so it's data that is very uh, seldom used. And my research and the work I do is both aimed at mobilizing this data, so finding where it is and trying to, uh, trying to get hospital data usable in a technical way, and then how to use it, what to use it, what is it usable for, what isn't it usable for, and what we should do to be able to use this data for uh, policy making. So my current research interests are primarily focused around this field, which is called global mental health, which is uh, focused on narrowing the gap between the need um, worldwide for um, biomedical mental health care of some kind and the access to that care, which is huge and it's biggest in low resource settings in low income countries. I'm working with Health Alliance International, looking at evaluating Gavi programs, how they are being implemented within countries. And um, I'm working in Mozambique for this evaluation. I think that metrics and implementation science really complement each other and work together to uh, go, go the full range from knowing what disease burden is in a community to saying, okay, what leads to that disease burden? What are the risk factors? And then what interventions or programs can help reduce that burden? And how do we implement, how do we actually, you know, get what needs to get to the end user? How do we get it there? I've loved my PhD program here at UW for many reasons. I think the faculty are world class. I think the research done here is excellent. This program is really at the forefront of metrics education and implementation science education. Mm -hmm.